Come on now. It's like it's chocolate. Like... <laughs> what are these? Oh, Lord in heaven. Live art. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Crack the seal. Oh. <laughs> Get a hunk of wood. Oh. <gasps> Pedicure. Oh, yeah. Rocky. No. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Booger picker. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. oh. Another galaxy. So cool. Futura. Just bought. What have you done? How y'all doing? Oh, that's good. Oh no. Oh, you got me. sleeper dude channel we are finally back with our 64 galaxy station wagon here it's actually a country sedan edition this is like uh one of the more base model station wagons came from the factory with a 289 v8 and a three speed on the column at some point somebody put a floor shifter in it so it's got like a ralph thinks it's a hearth shifter we ended up rebuilding a 5.0 and putting in it because the 289 block was no good it runs drives has brakes all the good things first test drive out on the road in 30 years and the thing hung up in second gear, wouldn't come back out. Today, we're gonna find out what is wrong with this transmission. I have a little insight from the previous owner that makes me think something's wrong inside the transmission because he was telling me that when he bought it, apparently the guy had told him that the transmission blew up in it. We found this out later. So we're gonna find out if it's a shifter, is it the transmission? If it's the transmission, we'll tear into it and see what's wrong with it. I guess let's get it up on our lift and find out what's up. Woo! Yeah. It can be lower front end a little bit. Just a little. So here's our shifter. It's an old Hurst shifter from probably the 70s here. You can kind of see down there. I noticed before it had some bolts that were a little janky looking. So I just want to give you a shot at six shifter because it looks so good in this car. Bench seat and a floor shifter. It doesn't get much better than that. Guys, you asked for it and you got it. Squeezy artwork is finally here. Now this is in very limited quantities, okay? We don't want a sweat shopper to death on this. She's been doing some paintings. So you can buy a painting and we're going to send you a random painting that she's done. Right now they're Christmas themed, of course. We also now have hats. So we got sleeper dude embroidered hats, snapback, mesh back hats. I know a ton of you guys are wanting hats. So we just got in a big shipment of them. So you can now get them on the website as well. We got our sleeper dude casing shirt here. Maybe if you're going out to dinner, to church, Good option here with a white t-shirt. And we only have three days left on our Holly gift certificate giveaway. So any order between now and the end of the 15th of November gets you an entry to win a $500 Holly gift certificate, as well as like an assortment of all of our products we sell. So if you haven't ordered already, or if you want something new, go check our website, thesleeperdude.com. Place your order before the end of the 15th. The winner will be announced on the 16th. We'll give you a call, let you know you won, ship your stuff out to you. A big thank you to everybody that helped support our channel and our new website. We really appreciate all that. Now let's get back to the video. So we're up under it now. This thing has a pretty long tail shaft. If I'm being honest, I have basically no experience with three-speed manuals. I had cars that had them, but never really had to work on them. Check that out where they drilled through the bell housing trying to fix it, because this had a messed up throwout bearing, if you remember. This is the bolt I remember seeing. So this mounting bolt here is clearly cross thread and wrong and everything there but i don't see anything with like the shift rods or the shifter itself it looks like just that bolt so who wants to volunteer to get up there and work the shifter me uh, I, do you have a servant's heart love yeah let's just point out questionable decisions were made here my wife of course was on the waiting list to get these things yeah i like them you know were they croc boots that's yeah. if your wife tries to buy something like that Shut the debit card down or something. Come on. They are a little fancier built than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be like this material all the way up, but they're not. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> so it's stuck in second gear. Give it a wiggle there, try to take it out. Yeah, that doesn't look good. See, I've tried to yank this thing out of gear a million times. The shifter's doing everything it's supposed to. This is moving, that's moving. It's something probably internal then. Uh, I was thinking it might be shifting on this, you know, and it not like doing what it's supposed to, but it's not. It's definitely looking like it's not the shifter. We do need to do that 
bolt differently though, for sure, when we put it back together. I guess let's get this transmission out and figure out what's up with it. Maybe the fluid will tell us something. We'll drain the fluid. Can you get down? Yes. We know you're accident prone, so. Oh, we got our sweet oil drain deal here that the people at Vibor sent to us. We appreciate them sending that. Now, this will be the first time we've used it. Oh man, that's stuck. Good old hand hammer there. Am I going the wrong way? Come on now. Oh, I did it. Come on now. I did I it. Say. On camera. I thought you were. I went the wrong direction after making so much fun of y'all for doing that stuff. Righty tighty, lefty lacy is what I heard. That's what I heard. Let's see what's in this oil. Which just will have gear oil in it, you know, it doesn't have automatic transmission fluid. Oh. It's just like a rear axle. So it's just like checking your rear end. How do you fill that up? This is like draining your rear end here. Ooh. Ooh. Look how thick that, look, it doesn't even like stick to me. It goes around me. It's like brown. Are there any metal chunks in it is the question. You smell it? Well, the magnet is covered with junk. Mm. There's like fuzz all over the magnet. Look how, look how it just moves around me. That's weird. You know, I'm used to oil where it like, yeah, it's on do you. That. It's look, the, look, look at that. It's like it's chocolate. Like hard. It looks like chocolate. It's more Play-Doh than oil. Ew. Look, squeeze. Look, it looks like a chocolate fountain. Look at this. You want to try it? Nope. Well, I haven't felt any hard pieces yet. That's thick. Will this even drain down in our thing here? <laughs> That's so weird looking. That is so it, thick. It's so much thicker than even gear oil should be. Ew. You know? How does it look like that? I don't know. Is that chunky? Is I haven't felt any metal way? chunks yet. Mm, no. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be this thick. I mean, there's a ton how old it is. Yeah. Well, I didn't see any chunks come out. Of course, there could be chunks right here, you know, that aren't coming this way. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look, it stays for a little bit. That is so weird. It's like pudding. It feels like pudding. Is that air or is that metal that I'm seeing? Is it glitter? Is that glitter or is it just bubbles? Uh, mm. It doesn't smell good, I'll tell you that. It's funny how they drilled all these holes in it trying to <laughs> fix it because it had just a completely destroyed throwout bearing, which my guess is that that's why this car got parked. I think it sat so long, somebody tried to get it running, pulled the plugs out, and then they never finished it, and then that killed the human. This was the hardest car we ever had to get running. Yeah, she's oh, been yeah, a bugger. It was. We did several videos trying to get this thing running. So we're gonna work on dropping our drive shaft now and our cross member and everything, get our transmission out of here. I should have already sprayed this stuff, but it wasn't up in the air. We're gonna try a new product that skeet skeet, son, from Sweet Patina. If you go to sweetpatina.com and use code SLEEPERDUDE, you'll get 5% off your order. They're a small family owned business, so we're trying to help them out. Oh, look at that. Look it, what it does. It's like bubbles. Look at this. Oh, it does freeze. Yeah, so it cold. freezes it, and it's a penetrating oil, and it freezes it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really weird. I'm gonna hit all these rusty bolts up through here. How cold is it? It's super cold. You should feel it, or maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> It'll freeze. Oh, can I do it? Ew. Ready? It like made my fingernail. It's like ices it over. That's crazy. Come on now, use them rapid power muscles. Yeah, there you go. Trouble? <laughs> 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 See, tightening it? Well, no. Can I try? I was listening. Can I try? Oh my. That's really Can I try? Well, it's been on there forever. My whole weight can't get it off. With these. What do you got to give it that? Mm. Look at that right there. Oh, oh cool. Right. Yeah, how wonderful. There you go. Got it? Uh, okay, the car just got three pounds louder. It still needs floor pans, yes. Stuck. 
I had friends that are older than me that used to street race back in the 60s and stuff. Street racing their dad's car with a three speed like this and busting the transmission. They go home and swap it and go back out racing that same night. Crazy. They must have been quicker than me. I just never tore into manual transmissions much. Always automatic. That comes out of there pretty easily. Of course, we don't have a working emergency brake anyway. Hmm. Cut that joker off I'll there. just put this in the back seat. This is dangerous. She's like, my hands. Everything on this car is surface rusted up. I can't see. Just keep going. <laughs> So I'm talking about eyes on that. So I covered another paint that I messed up on, covered it white, and now I'm gonna have like all different colors. I'm gonna scrape down, and it's gonna come to a masterpiece. So this is all our emergency brake cable stuff because it goes through the middle of the cross member. So scary. What are you doing? You're like a bug on a windshield. Tom Cruise. <laughs> hey, he does stuff. He's pushing the clutch in so we can turn the drive shaft. Oh, 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 oh. Watch your foot cramping. <laughs> off the boot. First time ever. Wait, pull it up. Pull it Why is your foot cramping? Is it better? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get the clutch in? Yeah. All right, so you're good. Let off there. We need more potassium. This is the thing, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna do it outside. So come on. Oh, okay, live art. Oh my gosh. Not your clothes. Oh yeah. She's abstract, all right. All the bolts are out of this now. So I just gotta take my speedometer cable loose. And I think I can take the four bolts here loose and pull it off the bell housing and leave the bell housing intact. That's what I'm hoping. It's unbolted. Man, that is stuck. Wow. That is so stuck. Oh, really? I need a bigger drive cut. Do I need a skate skater? Get a big one. A yeet eater. Yeah, that one. I'm gonna push the transmission up a little bit. Should release this guy. We built our exhaust around this cross member, so everything's welded in place. It's a hot fit, huh? Feels like it's full of mud. It feels heavier than it should be. Our mount still looks good. That gives us a lot better shot at all this stuff now. I don't know if I've had the straps get stuck like that before. That's the biggest pry bar we've got. I mean, the XL model, that's not even budging those straps. We may have to heat them up. Wow. Yeah. And you think that much pressure would take that loose. It's unfortunate, really. It is unfortunate. So I put the nuts back on the U-bolt straps and I'm prying against them. I've got this one to move at least. I haven't tried the other side yet. This car may have the most stuck parts of any car we've ever owned. That's the ridiculous. engine was terrible. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It should not be this difficult. That is so crazy. We're going to have to put U-joints in it now. Man, how is it that stuck? This one side slipped out about a, a quarter of an inch. This side, no go at all. I know they sell these straps at the parts store because we bought some for the Gremlin. That one finally came loose on this side. That is just crazy how stuck that was. Oh, he spent a bunch of time. Oh, oh watch out. Oh, we definitely got to put a U-joint in it, yeah? There goes all the needles. That's what you don't want to do, which we'd already cooked it. It was probably not gonna last long like that anyway. Throw on the heat to her. Oh, what is that? It's like smoky looking. Okay, one of those needles got me. 
<laughs> that was great. I should have had my croc boots on, huh? That's right. Them spurs would have saved me. Finally, man, that took a long time. Three times longer than it should have, right? Yeah, that thing was in rough shape anyway. Well, those U-bolt straps are what was holding us. So how's Murphy doing these days, Ralph? He's doing good. We'll have to go see him. He's just a goat out there in the field is what he is. <laughs> yeah. He's so funny. He like. thinks they're best friends. Yeah. Granny don't want to be friends with no one. Granny, dog. no. It surprises me how much he has letting me around her at least. Yeah, I yeah, think he didn't take the hint. <laughs> Guys, this is the speedometer cable. Unfortunately, it goes right to the center of the shifter, but it has a little gear on it, and that is what turns the speedometer up top. New cars, it's all electric, but these old cars, it was cable driven. See, here's your little speedometer gear. Wow. So it's got four five-eighths nuts that hold this transmission to the bell housing. I'm gonna try What's to leave the bell the housing. Okay. What? This is a transmission. This is a bell housing. Oh, I thought it was all connected. It's where the donut's at, too. This doesn't have a donut. It has a clutch. Dang it, what? Automatics have a torque converter, or okay. as or you a call donut. it, a donut. donut. And then manuals have a clutch. So it's just a different design. The torque converter is a fluid drive system that slips oh. all the time, unless it's lock up. A manual has a clutch, like your car, a dry disc and two pieces of metal and it sandwiches it together. Mm. But normally that's where the donut is, right? Right. Oh, that's what I thought. See, I'm Isn't still that kind of like a brake system? I'm still convinced that yeah. that one, <laughs> that one donut was blue. It was not purple. I'm still convinced. No, the comment said it was purple. Y'all, it was blue. I swear. The comment here, said. 99% of the comments said it was purple. So, I, listen, the people have blue. spoken. It was blue. <laughs> I got the two easy bolts out of the bottom and this top one now. It's just spinning. The bolt's spinning inside the bell housing. So we may have to take the whole shooting match out, it looks like. Luckily, this one is not too bad. Small bell housing, big car. There you go, Ralphie. No, it's it's yeah. substantial. Where do I put it? Put it over there, I don't know, somewhere. This one top one I just could not get from the bottom. Had to get up here and get it. Plenty of room up here, though. I, I would have thought I could have got them off from the bottom. But... This one I couldn't. That air filter looks great. It does, doesn't it? Sometimes you gotta get amongst it. Mm -hmm. well, this thing's got an old school mechanical clutch, which I kind of like. You know, it just simplifies everything. So I'm gonna take the return spring off of it. I think we're down to two bolts, and I believe we can take the transmission out. We've never used our transmission jack on this job here. Okay. Huh? Hey, I already used it over there. Like jacking myself up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Riding the transmission jack. Absolutely. I don't know how high it goes. Will it go up top? Can I pull it? Can I pull it? Yeah, go for it. All I know it goes down. It must be as high as it goes. All right, we'll have to lower the car down to it. So I couldn't paint my old Christmas truck, so I painted her a gnome instead. I love him! Oh, that looks wow. so good. Oh my gosh! He's how the best! Nice. Oh, that's so good. The Very trees good. are pleased. That's good. It took me two hours to do this. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I think that's the last one. I don't know if we're going to be able to go back with the transmission with that shifter. We got to take the shifter off, too. <laughs> that stuff is still dripping out of there. Why does spark plug fall? Yeah, why is it? Oh, that was that one that was hung on the thing. Oh, there's that's an the, old one. In the bell housing, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the ones they left out. Gosh, it's terrible. Oh. Z bar bracket. <laughs> We're losing all kinds of stuff, aren't we? I don't know how it's dumping fluid everywhere. We drain the whole I thing. I think there's glitter. You oh, yeah. Little there's, shot? Glitter. there's glitter in there. Look. Yeah. Oh, she glittered. We're going to find out here in a minute. I so much stuff fall on me. What about the shifter? That's, uh, I think that's what's holding us, but it's basically out of the clutch now. Looks like, it looks like if I went back just like a half inch, it would come out. <laughs> the long tube headers are kind of messing us up on our bell housing here. All right. Just a, a tiny strip of metal. That right ought to do. All right. <laughs> there was no warning. Look at all that stuff. 
There's no warning to that one. He came out of nowhere, that's all, that's all. <laughs> Sounded like that was it. We're out of there now, okay. Yeah, I think we should be able to go down. Yeah, slowly. Slower. All right. Um, stop. We're hung on something. There we go. Yeah. Go down slowly. Josh, so easy. Are we free now? Is it look like Tosh? Uh, your shifter. I think your shifter's going to be holding you. We should be just straight down now. Yeah, that's oh, good. I love this jack already. I <laughs> know. We'd have wrestled that thing and broke our backs. Yeah. Luckily, it had a very haphazardly cut <laughs> shifter hole. And look, this was already open. There was just a strip right here, and I was like, okay, I'm cutting that out. Yeah, you didn't hurt anything. Well, let's uh, take this top cover off and see what's up. I'm playing a doo doo. What are y'all fishing for? I'm putting it down the drain, doo doo. Because eh, it Stop. wasn't, it was under the level. This is the bolt that was spinning on me. It's been replaced before. I'm sure there's probably supposed to be a certain thing in here, something that doesn't ever spin on you, you know? Yeah. And that one definitely been replaced. That's the one that was spinning. This one was super hard to get to. Yeah, a little nut action there. Yeah. Look, somebody's cut and welded the bracket on the shifter. Look how gooped up this thing is. Ooh. Crusty! Your mom's just dying to pick I know, it. I want to pick it so bad. Man. Sometimes it's just a bummer being the camera person. Uh -huh. It is a goopy mess. Oh, I love this. You like this? You're not even getting to the bottom. I'm Look, sorry. You sorry. see all that? I've never had one of these apart before, so I'm learning as I go. Daddy-o, his specialty was automatic transmission, so he wasn't really a manual transmission guy, so we always just dealt with automatic. <laughs> We'll get all that inside of our transmission. Oop, crack the seal. What's that? I don't think it's supposed to be That's like that. Part of the gasket material. Oh well, there was that. Oh what? What's on there? That's the shift forks. So you got two shift forks here. Okay. I think this is like part of the synchronizers. But these are your gears here, see? So depending on which one it's selected, yeah, it's is what gear. gear. I'm not seeing anything right off. It looks very muddy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it looks muddy. All right, let's see. What is that guy? Looks like he's in the way, doesn't it? I know. It's trying to spline up on this, it looks like, and it's not going. So you can see the little slides in there. This is the little shafts that your shift fork slide on. It's trying to go, but it won't let it. Huh, I wonder why. That's weird. How hard would it be to just bolt up a T5 to it or whatever it is? I don't know. See all that rust and junk in there? Yeah. I wonder if it's just how nasty it is. I was expecting to open it up and it'd be like broken teeth. No? Well, all those teeth are rusty basically on that side. Okay, I just noticed something. Case is busted. There and there. Is that the reason? Look, can I flex the case? Yeah. You don't see the crack moving? Yeah. Our transmission case is busted. Are you used to this? <laughs> the starlet, right? Yeah. It wasn't cracked like all the way. It was like cracked. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was cracked we right we've cracked a few, yeah. Is that the That's problem? That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even notice it. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Well, that transmission is no good. All right. The story I heard from the previous owner was that the guy that sold it to him said he broke something in the transmission. That could mean anything, though. That could mean the clutch, which we knew the throttle bearing was messed up. That could mean shifter even. One time, me and Dad tore into a five-speed manual, a really hard one to build. It was an NV3500 or whatever, just to find out the shifter was messed up. Mm. So probably what that's doing, if I had to guess, was it's probably made something get out of alignment in there. And it just won't slide back and forth like it's supposed to. It's kind of amazing that it drove at all. Right. I wonder when it cracked. Probably when it got parked, you know? Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. 
Didn't it like shift gears or? It did at first. It went through all the gears at first. Maybe. And then we drove it down the road and it hung up in second and never came back out. Mm. See, that one don't want to move either. Let me take these shift arms off. And these pins are like, this one's like homemade pin. You could have used a new shifter for sure. Get out there, buddy. See? Maybe if that was bonding anything up. Wait, where, where, where'd this come? Uh, the apron? I don't know. Okay, let's just sit right here. Was it in there? I don't know. So there's nothing to do with the shifter now. I wonder what's up. Why Why won't it? Get the hammer. Break the teeth. We need to tear this thing down, don't we? So there's our brand new throw out bearing we just put in it. It had a pretty deep groove right here where it was messed up from before. So let's tear into it and see what we can find. I like these turn into things. I know, you always It's like a treasure hunt. Like... I'm too nosy not to know. I think that's it. Well, that one went off. Got it? Yep. <clears throat> Look, guys, I just saw that. See that crack? Oh, it goes I all the it. way down. Oh, you I might. see it. I see it right here. Right down through there. Oh, yeah, wow. it busted her. Yeah. Hmm. If I hadn't heard the backstory, I would have thought it froze and bust, like it got water oh, in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it goes all the way. Okay, I think it's loose now. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Does it shift all right now? Huh, let me just. I'm saying it does. It's funny how tiny this transmission really is. Like when you look at it, you know? That's your speed on there, dear. Right there. There's a lot of oil in this. You know? Look at. Ooh! Oh man, look at that. That's, That's funny how much oil is just sitting in the back of this thing. Even after we drained it all. Go on, let her sit there and... There you go. It's so good. Did you break like one of these or... Look, like ball bearings. Like how Why are you gonna bring up the past, son? Huh? Oh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? You got some big ball bearings. Yeah. Sounds like someone's smiling with too much slobber. So apparently you're supposed to take this fill plug out and there's a roll pin down there. There's like two other gear sets in here that we can't really see good. I'm wondering if we got a busted gear in one of them. Oh, these pages are for real. I'm like so scared. <laughs> okay, give it back. Give it back. Okay, well, there goes that roll pin. I don't know who owns it now, but it's somewhere. Remove the side cover. Side? <laughs> we don't have a side cover. Where's, ours is like a top loader. Mm. That's us probably top two. Look, it says get a hunk of wood. Bearing retainer, okay. Remove set screws from shifter yokes. Okay. Look, that does have water in it. See that? It's mm. separating, that's water and oil. So it has seen water at some point. This might be my guess. Are you dead on? No, too small. Oh. We go with this, this guy. Is it. You go first. Oh. Too small. One fit. <laughs> every time. Every time. Yeah. Well, I've just done it for her. You don't want to Oh. It broke off in there. Let me see. It broke off. The end of it is down there now. How? There's a little ball thing. We thought we were top two, and then we realized there's 11 different types of these Ford three speed transmissions. I think this is it. I think it's top eight. Do you concur? I think so too. Bearing retainer, we did all that. Remove the filler plug from the right side. Drive the roll pin out, we did that. Hold the cover with a hook and with a dummy. Well, that's pretty easy to find around here. This is why his books are so good. Push the counter shaft, roll pin. That's from 1964. Yeah. Well, I think we gotta push this shaft out of here now that the pin's out of it. Let's... Can't seem to wanna go. Oh. Something moved a bunch. Yeah, it that part that was not moving just slid back. Look, it finally moved. How? I don't know, I was pushing on it and it moved. Which we already know the transmission's bad, but I'm wanting to know why it's bad. I'm wanting to see like a busted something, you know? Got a snap ring here, I think it's holding this. Absolutely. 
I feel not as worried about tearing this down because it's not fixable. It's just a parts transmission now, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming off Come right on. now. Come on. That's a booger, isn't it? Yeah. It's like doing open heart surgery. I feel like there's 50,000 old timers that have took these apart 100 times. They're like, why aren't you doing this? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. He's done, done it now. That hurt my leg so bad. Did it hit your foot? It hit my, it hit my knee, yes. This one looks fine. Look at all the uh, teeth on this. They look rounded off. They do. Which that's part of the synchronizer deal. All right, can we get the other half of this out now? There's that. Hey, you might can look at those teeth on that. That's the one we knocked the roll pin out of. Oh, there you go. That's the pin that this gear set down here stays on. So now it's out of my way. It's showing to use a special tool to pull the rear main shaft out of the back of the thing. Hmm. The bearing or whatever. Of course. Here, let's, let me see my tool. Oh, <laughs> you, know, I'm gonna, you should put it on the ground. I'm gonna stand back and got a few. We're getting access now. I got that part. Let me knock this thing off of it. It's not a tornado, guys. <laughs> Just gonna wash your eyes. It's cold. The heat was like. There we go. Oh, it's, for, a it's like a pinata, huh? Yeah, it's for sign. Yeah, it's thick. It's cast iron. Oh, let me bust it some more. We'll get to the bottom of those gears. Whoa. Did you get you, look, the whole side. So, look, there's our main gear set. This is the one we drove the pin out of. I don't see anything busted on it. Oh, look at these teeth. Yeah. It's still got a bunch of oil in it, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Look, look, that one's broke. Yeah. Look, see the teeth? Yep. So we did have broken teeth. That Those teeth are broken. Are These are broken. Definitely had broken teeth in the bottom gear set here. Is so that this is on the sh bottom back on the shifter side here. Do you think that's what caused it to break? Well, it was either somebody giving it too much force snapped the case or a chunk of those gears got in between two other gears and pushed the case that way, you know? Because yeah. I'm not seeing any broke gears in this main set here. It looks like it was just those gears right there. According to the manual, it says this is the reverse idler gear. So I don't know if it handles reverse and another gear, but it says it's for reverse. Yeah, oh man, look at all those teeth. All those bottom teeth are gone. But you can tell somebody's been trying to grind it in gear. Look at those. All around it. Oh, I'm probably gonna be more careful in my car than it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look, especially these three or four there, and then there's another group of like three. It's hard to say, you know, that may have been one problem and the case been a different problem, you know? Yeah. Well, there was problems, that's for there sure. Was definitely problems. So we got to figure out what we're doing. I don't know what the availability are of these transmissions, you know? It's really worrying me that there's like 11 styles of them. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, we don't want to get the wrong one and our drive shaft won't work. We do have T5 around here. That's definitely an option. I'm kind of in the mindset that it'd be a good time to put floors in it while we have the transmission out. Right. You know? Or road signs. You know, maybe we put floors in it before we do the transmission. Yeah. While we're gathering up parts for that. But I kept taking snap rings and roll pins out and nothing was budging. I'm like, I'm gonna be here all night doing this. And it's already Jeopardy time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The way that shifter looks, I'd hate to put that old shifter back in. Everything's been cut and welded on and everything. Yeah. If we're gonna keep a three speed, it'd be better to go ahead and put a new shifter. But I'm gonna do some research and uh, figure out what the best option is here. Well, it's early the next morning. It's freezing cold. Murphy's hungry. Figured I'd show y'all Murphy. Hey, buddy. It's hard not to bring him in the shop or in the house, but his job is keeping the goats safe, so. That's what he always does. He always spills his food. He's excited. Does he know where it's at? Right here. Right on the ground where he 
filtered out at. <laughs> He's figuring it out now. It's cold. What? It plays music. Where'd you get that? I don't know. Mimi. All right, let's get to it. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Y'all are ridiculous. It's cold. There's frost on the pumpkin. It's really so cold. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever turned a heater on in here. This is all the heat we have in this building, so working with what we got. We drug the T5 out this morning out of the parts room, and I wanna do some measuring and checking. I don't know what's similar about them, what's different. I know you can use this bell housing if you buy an adapter plate, take this bell housing off and bolt it to that, and that allows you to use your original clutch and Z-bar and everything. I wanna measure the length difference and where the shifter length is too, because that's what I was worried about is it hitting something, you know? I can't see it. 35 inches? 35 inches total length. I was hoping we would find something wrong inside that transmission, like one little thing we can fix. I did not expect to find a busted transmission case. That's kind of a bummer. I was hoping we could maybe get some pieces and fix this one or whatever. 31. So I was afraid we'd have to cut the drive shaft. It's the opposite. You'd have to have a drive shaft four inches longer. Mm. Do we have any like X-rays here? We don't have any that's longer than this one. I know that. And is it the same yoke? That, so the yoke is the same. So we'd have to have a four inch longer drive shaft if we went this route. We have to remake our transmission cross member. Mm. What about our shifter location? 26 and a half inches back. Yeah, that's 22. That's what I was worried about. That puts the shifter back four and a half inches farther. We were already right against the seat with it. So I don't know that we would be able to run a bench seat. We may need to talk to our buddy and see if he's got a transmission sitting around. We might could replace the transmission with another one of these, you know? Right. Something that directly bolts in, maybe get a new Hurst shifter for it or something. Well, I guess what we're gonna do now, since we don't have a real quick transmission fix here, we've never pulled the seats out of this car. We know the floors are garbage. That driver's seat is awful. Every time you get in and out of it, yeah. it hooks it your, hooks you your you hanes like, right here. I'm talking. like a foot down. We'll lower it down and get that seat out of there. It's probably gonna be a pain to get out. I should have put some skeet skeet on it yesterday. I don't think anybody even offers direct fit floors for this. So we're probably gonna have to order floors for a two door car and figure it out. We just know from looking right here that our firewall has a little bit of rust at the base, but our Falcon did too. If you remember when we put floors in the Falcon, it had right where your toes go, you know? So we know we got rust right here. That's where they cut out for the shifter, but there's rust underneath, looks like where the seat is. And then the back, it seems like every car rusts out right here where the back feet go. So that's our worst spot right Maybe there. It's children, they don't wipe their feet off before they get in the car. You tell me about Besides it. Besides me, I do. Uh, we appreciate that. I can't. All right, let's get down and pull that feet out. What surprises me is how good the truck floor is in this car. Yeah. I don't know how it didn't get rusted out. Looks like it bolts in from the bottom. I thought maybe the bolts were from the top, but they're not. You guys are always telling us to like, you know, make a wish list or whatever for fan mail. If you have any 64 Galaxy door latches for a four door car wagon or window regulator parts, that's the biggest thing we need. Obviously we need interior, but I don't expect nobody to send us interior stuff. I haven't found a place that you can buy these door latches aftermarket yet. So if you got some of those parts laying around and you're not using them, good fan mail idea there. Do y'all think this will actually come out? Well, or we got to cut it out? Probably cut it out. Hey. What? The whole stud came out, but it came out. That's a miracle. It is a miracle. Hey, two in a row. Let her go. That one, the stud stayed in. We should have took the seat out of this thing a long time ago, huh? Yeah. This exhaust looks like a diamond shine in a goat's That's butt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know if they know what you're talking about. It does look pretty good. It seems to help to get like a, a really strong impact and hit all at once. If you try to do this with a ratchet, it'd probably end up messing up on you. Four for four. That's crazy. Can you believe that? Hey, your toes are looking good. Are your toes cold, honey? They're a little chilly. Oh man, they're looking nice. Did you paint those? Yeah, got a, I got a pedicure. <laughs> oh, you definitely summer Wait, those. Summer three, this way, summer that way. You yeah. only have four on the inside. <laughs> well, my pinky, see, it didn't quite make it. 
Oh, the other door opens too. I forgot yeah. about that. Hey. That's the only door that opens and closes. Don't right? count this old girl out. She's doing pretty good. Uh, see, this one actually. Only door that latches. Who's gonna grab the other side? Huh. I don't know. Come on, kick it straight up, Ralph. Right. Go, Randy, go. You're taking over. Okay. This is the one that gets me every time. Right there. See our seat frame itself okay. is actually broke through right there. Mm, that's important. So that's why it hooks you. So we need to really get a hold of the seat frame for the front. We're gonna definitely have to have look from right there all the way to here. Need to really be replaced. All in here. We got a bobber, son. <laughs> what else we got? We actually cleaned this car out once, but we never pulled the seat. Look. That's how old this car is. Pool tab. That's probably RC Cola, I'd say. I guarantee it's RC Cola. It'd be nice to have a floor pan and a carpet kit and another front seat. How bad's this back seat? I can't remember. It's got like a split bench back here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Look, look at the latch over here. It's neat. Hey. That's not terrible. We can work with that. We can work with that. I'm with you. I don't know about the mouse. We've never been able to get the very back gate open. I mean, we have tried and tried and tried so far. So it's a factory seatbelt car and 64, that was That's, not standard. That was yet. fancy you, like, a little bit. Cut it around there? Yeah, I think we could cut the floor right here. We got more pull tab cokes here. It didn't used to be illegal to drink and drive. So like mm -hmm. back in the day, you could drive around drinking apparently. Oh. Look, I can stand straight through it. Right here. Hi. Now he wants to help, huh? Any leaves? Those are some old leaves, Rocky. I don't know if they're any good. Whoa, violence. He's gonna go work on the transmission for a minute. Full of stuff under there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bird's nest. You got hay right here in your hair. I got it. You want to eat it? Oh, that feels pretty good. Oh, my word. Look at all this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some kind of animal is going to fall. Oh, it's done right now, thank you, baby. You're good. Now I'm going to suck it up in the vacuum plate. Oh, Lord. Supervising. Rocky, don't eat the seeds. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what? He's like cleaning it. Look, he leaked it. Like, cleaned it off a little spot there. <laughs> Rocky! You can't eat the seeds. That's your limit of seat material for a day. No more. It's cleaner. I think this is the best side. That side's better? Yeah. yeah. Passenger side. Rocky is very concerned about what you're doing in the back of the car. Is he going to come back here? Uh, he's oh thinking about gosh. it. I don't know. <laughs> he's going to do it, isn't he? You can always you, tell. I was going to say, you can see exactly what he's thinking. Yeah. It's like, it's super easy to tell. This has a power back window, and you gotta get the window down in order to open this back door. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like jump the power window motor, if it still works, and get the window to roll down so we can open this. <laughs> Rocky, no. Oh. No. <laughs> no personal space. He's licking his lips. 
He just checks everything out. Encouragement, smiley face. Yeah, he just some pets. Yes, he is a goodish boy. Did he go down? Yep. Yeah, this song didn't. They went up. Try to work that glass down without breaking it. You might be getting your fingers on the top of it. Hey, give me those plastic pry tools. All right, y'all get it hooked like that and pull down on it. I'm gonna hit it with some more juice. You might be getting your fingers in there. Well, get your fingers in there. I can't do it all. Don't go up with it. I'm not going up. Maybe try to give it a little wiggle wiggle. It's so squat right now. Is there something wrong? Let me try the other direction again. Uh oh. Now it don't work either way. It's okay. That's okay. That's weird. I see the regular movement. How's that moving in the glass? Oh, it's come off the glass. <laughs> There's always something else. <laughs> So basically, it pulled for a little bit and then it broke off the glass. The regulator came loose from the glass. I can see when it got Okay. Well, that's the first time we had the glass down. That's cool. Now, can we get the gate open? I've seen it move a little bit. Come on, Daddy. Is both sides of the glass? Yeah. Yeah. Let me all this these hinges right the down here. Key. Yeah, the skeet key. It says 30 seconds and it. it's good to go. Two Mississippi. Three, Three Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like. It's like it's still latched. Oh. Her side is latched. <laughs> it's your side, isn't it? Well, it's Granny, what are you doing in here? Come on now, come on now. <laughs> you want me to throw to it? I didn't want to come Where's that skeet skeet? She's the gap doesn't help, She's straight the door. She's straight the door. She thinks spraying a door gap. It has to help. It has to help, okay? Granny's right up in it. Of course. What do you want to vacuum the back? Right, here, here. I'm throwing it back and forth. Look, it's got springs that go down underneath here. You see that? That's like a spring. We're going to work it back and forth. It won't rush this kind of thing. <laughs> After we done hog leg kicked it. Will it go down any farther than that? It should go down farther than that. Is it hitting something on the bumper? Because our bumper is kind of wrecked. No. There you go. Okay. Wow. 
That's a pretty cool mechanism, how it all works. Yeah, I think we just need to hit it with some more stuff and get it real lubricated. That has been over two years. That might have been three years. That we've tried three. to get that open. Hey, that gives me hope for the doors now. Three out of five that open now. Parts like this are really, really hard to come by. Most cars, only like 20% of them are wagons. Let's get the vacuum and vacuum this out. Here's our seat cushions for our third row seat, which we've never seen. I got a hinge here for the back seat area. I'm gonna spray it in. Yeah. Okay, remember all this was green at one point when we were cleaning it up. That surprises me that down in there is solid. Head booger picker over here is picking away. She loves the stuff she can pick out of somewhere like that. Does that make Ralphie happy? Yeah. Mom's working on the back doors now. I know I can see the jack under there. Oh, whoa, bro. Be careful. Oh, oh wow. Look, there's... Oh, there's a nest. Oh, we do have a nest. So there's the jack. Oh, coming your way. Sorry, Mom. So it doesn't have a third row seat? Is it there? It's there. I think it's there. So that just covers where your spare is, I guess. I was expecting it to have a third row right here. Okay. Cool. What's that do? What's oh. behind there? Very <gasps> stiff. Let's flip that up. Um, Toss and chicken. Nice. This is all it goes. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Wait a sec. Here, pick that up. Pick it up or fold it? I don't know. Let's see. The whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. Keep going here. <sighs> that nest in there. Ew. Here, watch your fingers, buddy. I think I know what goes on here. Oh, oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing is it. it. This? Uh, it I think it goes on that. I don't know. Cause Fold it that, all the way back, You bro. see that button it has this? where something would attach no, to it? This part. Bring it back. That is your seat. That's your seat. All right. Yeah. Those cushions set right there. Yep. It has the snaps on that. Like you would snap the, the padding to it. Okay. So that, fold your seat back as far as it goes. So that it? Yeah. yeah. There's your seat belt. Now oh, yeah. Right there. Why do kids need seat belts? This fits over it, see? And there's the oh, yeah. little snap here. Put that on the top like that. And then this guy must have just sat down in there like that. Yeah. And then these. That's a funny way to get into it. <laughs> Isn't it? When you're sitting up high too, look how much higher that is. That's sitting up a foot higher than this is. That's funny. Huh. Cool setup. I bet you can't buy these for love hey, or money. And you would, here's what you would do. You would button it. It snaps to this right here. Oh, it snaps there? Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Man, you sit up really high. It's pretty cool. Well, it's, if you had little kids though. I bet nobody sells those cushions. We have to make them probably. That have been swank in the day. Mm-hmm. Look, look at Classy. Look down here. Look at that. There better not be anything in here. That's crazy. All right, let's vacuum this out. Oh, it already works. That's what goes on it. So that's hooks on your bumper. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mom. Look how thick that is with rust. Ralphie's just ready to suck that up, aren't you? Same. Listen to it. Oh. Like that? Yeah. I can't lay the floor that good. If I'd known it didn't have a spare, I probably wouldn't have bought this thing. Oh, please. This thing's like going to be 200 pounds. I know, right? That is so deep. We got a drill bit, son. What a deal. This is paying off. We're just having to pick it up by hand because it's stopping it up. Looks like it's just a bunch of old leaves. Yeah. Well, the windows are down. That makes sense. Oh. 
A license plate. Shut the front door. Sunshine State, Florida, 1973. Cool. So this car was nine years old then. How cool was that? We've never found all license plates. Sunshine State, car. Florida, 73. Awesome. I mean, we found like bandy plates. We never found like an old stamped out one like that, have we? I don't think so. Yeah, you can see all the stuff. We never knew it was under the seat. Look, we filled that thing halfway up and a trash bag over here. It's kind of incredible how solid the floors are here. There's no rust holes here, I guess, because that drain plug was out. It's cool to finally have it open like that, isn't it? Looks like the worst of our rust is from right there to right there. So we got to get some floors for this thing. We just talked to the guy where we got the car. He says he might have a three-speed. He's over there at his shop right now, so we're going to go check it out. Let's go hit the road and see if we can figure something out with that. Whoa. Maybe he's got something out of work. You're wound today. I'm Ever excited. since that lift gate opened up. I know. I like, I love this car and I'm excited. It makes me love it even more that Seth's starting to work on it. Yeah. And if you guys are wondering where Squeeze is at, she had a school thing today that she's at. One of them Smarty events, you know, for the Smarty kids. Ralphie says the guy we got this galaxy from is cool because why? He has a ranger. Uh, it's nice. That does make you cool, for sure. Yes. This is the same place we got my Falcon Futura, the two Mustang Coupes we bought, if you watched that video, the Galaxy 500 NASCAR car. Most importantly, Mom's tractor. Mom's two-end tractor as well. The Super Coupe Thunderbird. Oh, yeah. And the Turbo Coupe Thunderbird and this Turbo Coupe Thunderbird parts cars. So we bought a bunch of cars from this guy for a good guy. He's hilarious. He is funny. I didn't realize they made like 11 different styles of three speeds. According to the manual I was looking at. This looks the same on the side. Is our tail shaft longer than that? Yeah. I don't know. We didn't bring a measure to me. What did this come out of? Do you remember? That originally came out of a Mustang. Okay. But, but we had it in that old 61 truck for years. Yeah. Yeah, it looks the same on the side because the pictures I was saying, there was different styles of how the side cover was made. Seems like it's moving around all right. Oh, yeah, it's super good. Well, there's still some back here. Another galaxy. You got the windows down, don't it? I just see one pedal. Oh, it's an auto car. I like that dash, that swirl polish on there. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's the inline six car, isn't it? Yeah. Remember, this has a funny air breather. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, love that breather on that thing. You, uh, you'd yeah. never find that air breather, ever. That's so cool. I wonder if that fit on the Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks so cool. How many Falcons are here? Isn't there like one over here in the woods? There's another one over there, I think. That red one, yeah. Okay, so that's the 65 water car. There's the convertible there's, car over there. There's one out there. There's one. Oh, there's another one there. Yeah, that's terrible. There's half of one over here. <laughs> I feel like that truck. Oh, no, you like trucks. I do like that truck, too. Man, is that got an engine in it or no? No. No? Does that convertible have an engine in it? No. Uh, I don't think it did either, did it? We're looking at maybe buying some Falcon parts cars. This has an engine, but it's a general fish car. So that's a Falcon like my body style too. No transmission, but it has an engine. So that's one, two and a half. There's one cut in half over there. This is a 64 5 Futura. It is really cool. It is a cool looking car. We've hung around here too long. I just bought a 91 F-150 5.0 truck. That thing. Oh gosh. I bought a Falcon convertible, a Falcon four-door, another Falcon four-door, half of a Falcon over there in the woods. And I bought this four-door Falcon and the two-door Futura and all the fenders and doors for a Falcon that are sitting over here. And two engines. And two 302s and C4s, so. Me and Wavi racing them things through the field. I know. <laughs> That truck's a short bed. Yeah, I like kill it. Them. We're going to have to cut trees and everything to get them out. But that's a Futura. I like it. A lot of stuff here. A lot of parts cars, though. Really. Well, just bought a van, too. Got a big block Ford in it. 
You shouldn't have brought me here, Josh. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something I can buy. You bought that truck over there. Okay, that's, that's my river. <laughs> yeah, I got a chainsaw. We can probably that's get it out of there. Yeah, we actually bought the headlight ring off that car for my other car. That's a 62 four-door. So I got this convertible here. It needs to be covered up, don't it? Bought that F-150 with 5 in it. Short bed truck. That thing probably looked pretty cool. And I bought this half of a Falcon over here. Bunch of stuff to get hauled out of here in a future video. What have you done, Marge? Oh, I see the same thing. What have you done? I didn't do nothing. You I take you somewhere just to get a transmission. <laughs> And you buy all them cars. You buy all every them cars. time, every time we come here, we buy like ten cars. Well, that's true. I don't know how many that makes we bought from him. I think we bought nine last time. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I was thinking the Thunderbird. We got the Thunderbird too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We bought a bunch. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing? How's your mom and him? Well, I tried my best to get these back doors open some more. It just ain't happened today. I'll have to keep working on them. It's incredible that you can have the door panels off and see the mechanism and pry on it and everything else and it still won't open. Crazy. This video took a turn, you know? Yeah. We turn thought, for the better? Yeah, I mean, we thought we were going looking for a transmission and we ended up buying how many vehicles? I don't know. Actually, we even count a half two, a car. There's four and a half. Three, seven and a half cars. Seven, seven and, a half. and a half cars? About seven and a half cars. Yeah. And two engines and trailers. Ballsy day. That's crazy. We appreciate you coming along with us on this journey. At least we figured out that our transmission was indeed very bad. And that we do need floor pans. Because right now I'm pouring this on the shop floor, not the floor of the car. So we're going to have to get some floors coming. And we're going to have to figure out about a transmission. So I guess leave us a comment. Should we just go ahead and T5 it? If we do that, we're going to have to either get an adapter plate to use our stock clutch mechanism, or we're going to have to use everything on the transmission and then get a cable set up or a hydraulic clutch set up for the clutch. One of the two. So if you know any companies that sell those products that make a good kit or something, please let us know in the comments as well. Pour one out for your homies, you know? Show a little respect, right, honey? Exactly. Here you go. You can have them. Here, where's Oh, you want to try this? Yeah. This was the RC Cola bottle opener that we got in the last fan mail. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you spilled it all over me. Mom. So I guess you can expect future videos of us going to move a bunch of vehicles. Yeah. The truck, we could get it running. The van. The van, possibly. They're it, so excited about the van. The van is the, the best. van's got a 460 and yeah, a Porsche excited. And it's super... Are we going to take the I heard, while we're there trying to talk to this man, I'm hearing these kids say, hot lap them, the bug. Uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to ra like, race that F-150 around the field. Squeeze is back know. now. She didn't get to go with us. I bought a bunch of cars while you were gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So I'm gonna be looking for a transmission for this thing. Try to figure out what we're gonna do there. My foot is on the exhaust. So if we go with a T5, we're going to have to get a different drive shaft. And that transmission he has is the same length as the T5. So Maybe if I was gonna do that, I might as well T5 it, you know? Yeah. We may get some bucket seats for this like we did in the Falcon, huh? That'd be yeah. cool. I love a bench seat, but it's kind of hard to do with a floor shifted manual. Yeah. You know? But we appreciate you guys watching our channel. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check out our third channel at Sleeper Dude Armed. Mm, new one. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. You can go buy our merchandise at thesleeperdude.com. You know, get you some stuff for Christmas for, you know, maybe the wife, the husband, the kids, grandma, great grandma, you know. Your aunties, your uncles. Exactly. We do yeah. not have croc toes available yet or shame. croc boots. Maybe one day, you know. People ask me all the time if we're sponsored by RC Cola no. or Armor Vanias or Crocs or Reef Flip Flops. Nope, none of those. We have none of that sponsorship. It was good to see Rocky helping a little bit. Finally. You know, I don't know what his deal is with the new He's shop. He's not lazy. He's either scared or lazy or something. He does not want to come out here much anymore. He'll be out in the yard the whole time and not even come in here. So, I don't know what's up with him. Y'all pray for him, okay? I'm excited about this old wagon again. Well, that's how we do. If they're off in the, in the distance, we don't think about them much. And then when we work on them, we're like, man, it's such a cool car. Yeah. We got to get that gas tank back in it. The only yeah. thing stopping us is we don't have that filler hose and... Once again, can't find anybody that sells it. That wagon life, man, it's a rough life. It's hard times. Squeeze, what do you think about this wagon? It's a zero out of one. <laughs> wow. Zero out of one? Wow, thank you, Squeeze. Appreciate it. Oh, we gotta go see Murphy. 
Yeah, oh, Murphy. Kimmy's good. He is a good boy. He would like to live in here, but he's got to be a protector. <laughs> For people like us For that me. are animal people, it's like hard to leave him out there in the field, but that's like his job, so he needs to stay in the field. He's having a good life. Can we get out of here? Watch your toes, honey. Oh, wow. We can see the bottom of the car. Are y'all all up to date on your tetanus? I don't think I am. Good what is Mr. Murphy he doing? Good oh, he's got you. Oh, hi. Hi, Murphy. Bitch getting bigger. What a good boy. There you go. Murphy. Murphy. He's never had one. Him do you love. He's like, I just want to play. That's the only thing I want to do is play. He's got that spotty belly. Oh, that's good. Look, look. Hey, you got to slow down, bud. He's like, yeah. He's just licking it. He won't eat it. Did you get it? I think he did. He got it. Good job, buddy. That's good, huh? I don't know how many times I've seen him run by this goat and it lock up. I got a soft place for these dogs growing up with them. We had one on the farm growing up, if you didn't see the second channel video. Hey, she's at the fence. She's waiting on you. Look at her wagging her tail. Whee! Murphy's just following us everywhere. <laughs> hey, he'll bite. He'll, like, attack your ankle. Yeah. While you're walking. Yeah. She got a bunch this time. She stretches out. Look how she does her back legs. That good. I guess Granny's getting used to living with a dog. What do you want, Murphy? Oh, I'm Nigel P. <laughs> that goat's about to walk all over her. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's locked up. Oh, she She's locked up. Oh, no. Oh, no. She locked up on me. What was she locked up about? <laughs> well, let's see it one more time, Ralph. <laughs> she went to come hang out and she got too nervous in the crowd. She gets excited, she does it too. It's so weird. He's getting old, look at him. He's old, the big beard and the big gut. Majestic man. You gotta work more, bro. Work that gut off. You need to fucking see what are your deal? Yeah. And remember, Jesus will save you and we'll save the wagons. Woo! Bye! 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 He'll do this all day. Oh, you got me! <laughs>